Now we're speaking women in tourism. I've been joined here by Mrs. Cassandra Quay, who is officer in charge of the Ghana Tourism Authority Call Center, and Patricia Abigail Kweisi, who is the senior specialist events officer at the Ghana Tourism Authority. Uh, thanks for joining us, ladies. Let me speak to you, uh, Patricia. Uh, what do you think the impact of women is in tourism? Um, thank you and good morning to our viewers. Um, women in tourism has brought a lot of women together. Um, you see, uh, when we talk about tourism, women in tourism, it's not only those at the offices. Mm. Yes, we talk about those in the creative industry. We have the restaurants, we have the um, seamstresses, we have all those people come into in, then we bring them together as women in tourism. You know, those who do the beats and all those people, mm -hmm. yes, they try to promote the country through the beats and all those things that we are wearing. So they are all part of the women in tourism. Cassie, Auntie Cassie, yeah. thanks for joining us. Thank you. Do you think that women have been relegated in the background when it comes to tourism? No, I, thank you very much and good morning to your viewers. I would say that women, nowadays women have been given the leading role. You find that in nowadays stories and we see that lots of women have been given the opportunity mm. to be able to be directors. Before it was being in the kitchen and all that, being put on the, at the background, but now you see a lot of women doing a lot of things and we have a lot of uh, professionals and um, what do you call it, the captains in the industry of tourism who are doing lots of things, mm -hmm. who will be part of our program we'll be having this very year. Patricia, do you share the same views? As yes, I, I do share the mm. same view because um, when you look at most of the CEOs, the big companies and other, you see that most of them are women and they are making sure that everything is going on well in the tourism industry and in Ghana as a whole. So yes. the perception that, you know, when we talk women in tourism, we're talking receptionists mm -hmm. and, you know, waitresses, yeah. that has changed? Yes, that, that has changed. Because when you go into all this um, industry, mm. yes, you see all the women coming up, the professionals. I mean, you have a lot of them. We can name them, but if we try to name them, we won't stop here. Cassandra, do you think women should do more or can do more in tourism? Yes. More than they are currently doing? They're doing, yes. I think women have been given a lot of opportunities okay. and women can be able to run an entire empire in tourism. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, what do you call it, um, industries like the beats, um, Abigail rightly said. Right. Lots of people are doing lots of beautiful things. Women are leading roles in tourism. Women are having businesses in tourism, doing tours and all that. There are so many women that are doing a lot that we can name just a few. I can quite name our Minister of Tourism. Mm. She's leading us and it gives us the edge as women that we can also do better than we're doing. We cannot just sit in the uh, hiding or in the clothes mm. and not do anything as a woman. Patricia has something to say. Mm. Yes, um, I think the same thing. I share the same view with mm. Cassandra. Yeah, most of our women, I mean, they are taking up the lead roles and they are making sure that everything is going on in this country. And they are helping to boost the tourism industry and adding value to whatever they are doing. Cassandra, you've been meaning to talk about the Women in Tourism Summit. You've yes. been waiting <laughs> yes. to talk about it. So tell us, what is it all about? Okay, it's about women. It's a, it's a summit that gives women the opportunity um, to operate across the entire tourism value chain. And it also seeks to promote the tourism economy um, to become a fundamental pillar that helps in advancing the role of a woman in tourism. We have women entrepreneurs, we have women leaders, and it also helps, this summit will also help a lot of women to be able to network and be able to help them in their funding, branding of their tourism, uh, what do you call it, industry mm. that they have in. Patricia, um, this is the second summit. Yeah, this is the second How summit. different is this one going to be from the second one? Um, this is going to be not so much different, but mm. um, the experiences that they, they had last year, yeah. they're coming to share it with us. We have a lot of people who have gone into a lot of um, 
tourism product that mm -hmm. they are doing now. So they are all coming out to tell us what they've done and um, since last year, the impact that it has impacted in their lives and the economy that they have done for this country. And I mean, you know, throughout this, through the program, there's been a lot of um, promotions, um, job creation, uh, yes. So that's what they are coming to share with us. And we are also going to learn about more how you can still promote the tourism industry in Ghana. So Cassie, your final words, what should we look out for? We look at, we encourage and look out for women mm -hmm. in the tourism industry. We have invited some people, some women in the industry to come and attend this in, uh, summit. We expect that all our invited guests will attend and all those who haven't registered can go on our website and do the registration. When is the date? When is it happening? Where is it happening? Okay, uh, it's on this Thursday, 27th of June, mm. 2019, at the Accra Tourist Information Center, right. Attic. It's just opposite the Afrikiku restaurant. Mm. And we urge everyone to be here, to be there. Thank you so much, ladies, you, for joining us. So we've been talking women in tourism. Mrs. Cassandra Kwe is officer in charge of the Ghana Tourism Authority Call Centre and Patricia Abigail Kwesi is senior special events officer at the Ghana Tourism Authority.